Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for January 6th of 2025 is titled Colliding Spiral Galaxies from Webb and Hubble. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image showing two galaxies and in fact, two spiral galaxies. We can see their distinct spiral arms and we can see that they are in the process of a collision. So what that happens when galaxies collide is that the material in them, especially the stars, really isn't affected directly. So stars don't collide when galaxies collide. And that is because the space between the stars is so great that stars would pass essentially right through each other. The galaxies are mostly empty space and stars are incredibly tiny by comparison. Now the other uh, larger objects things like gas clouds will collide and their gravitational fields will interact and that will enhance the amount of star formation as well as start to distort the galaxies. So we'll start to see tidal streams as streams of material are pulled out from these stars can be ripped out of the galaxies as well. Although as I said they're not directly going to impact any other star except under very rare circumstances. And what will happen in the long run is that this will settle down and probably become just one single galaxy. The two galaxies will effectively merge into one larger galaxy. And this is how galaxies evolve. They change through collisions. And those collisions then add more material to them and can also change their structures. So a collision of two massive spiral galaxies done right could have an incredible burst of star formation and could even wipe out all of the spiral structure changing the entire class of galaxy. Now will we ever see that happen? The answer is very definitely no. It takes a very long time for these collisions to occur. So we, in order to see these galaxies merge we would have to sit around and watch them for billions of years. And that would be when they would finally have settled down together and merged into just one single galaxy. So we really only get to see one snapshot of the collision because we could come back and look at this again 40 or 50 years from now and see exactly the same thing. We would be seeing exactly these star, stars and galaxies and they would be essentially unchanged from the way we see them today. Galaxy collisions occur on much, much larger time frames and not something that we are able to see. Now these two galaxies again are moving around and in fact the smaller galaxy swinging around the other galaxy and that motion will continue as the galaxies kind of do this slow dance together. Now the image is taken by a combination of Hubble Space Telescope and the James Webb Space Telescope. Hubble Space Telescope looking in the visible light and the James Webb Space Telescope looking in the infrared portion of the spectrum seeing the longer wavelengths and be really enhancing what we see as the star formation in the spiral arms where all of the dust is things that don't aren't as hot and don't emit as much visible light. So that was our picture of the day for January 6th of 2025. It was titled Colliding Spiral Galaxies from Webb and Hubble. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.